Hello, buddy. Tell six zero one here. Welcome to another vlog. So, let's see. What do I have to talk about today? Hmm. Well, this is about stuff I've learned so far, just uh, recently, as I'm, you know, still starting out. Even though it's been what five months, maybe something like that. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, so yeah, so I just want to share with you guys just a couple of things that I've learned along the way and uh, and some other th and some other stuff. So one of the things um, that I got from feedback um, not too long ago um, was to shorten my videos to um, 15 to 20 minutes, which has really helped a lot. That in non sense of you know, like, oh yeah, no, just less recording time for things like that. But it really helps with uh, time management. So I still do my full length sessions, but with the 15, like, like with the small duration, because the videos were at least half an hour long when I first started, it, it gave me a better sense of, you know, just to focus more on you guys and you guys don't always have half an hour sometimes you guys have five minutes maybe ten uh whatever not half an hour because that's quite a bit to ask of anyone um so so that helped a lot there and when i do my sessions now uh like afterwards when i go to the editing i can focus more on like well what do i want to showcase if i know i have to remove content like uh, wings of v for example that the, the, those sessions go on forever. I don't know how many hours I literally condense it to 15 to 20 minutes per video now. It's really kicking my butt. <laughs> but it's like, it, it, it's, it's just one of those things. And it's really cool. And I just feel like I can better manage my time. And I could probably do maybe two video releases a day versus the single but i don't know yet i'm not gonna make any promises on that for sure but when they do happen they'll happen like i've been doing it with shadow of the colossus recently which brings me up to another thing is console captures started that some of you guys have already seen my shadow of the colossus videos and i've been using the hd pvr 2 for this from hapaj don't worry, nothing sponsored on any of this stuff. I'm just showing the thing. I like the hardware, software's crap. Literally, ha after the seventh Colossus, I, I, I couldn't do anything. So software's always crashing on me. Uh, yeah, no. And I think the last two, no, no, not the last two, because I just recorded two, so I can't say the last two, because it won't be released yet. But as of this moment, the last two that I have done using that page, I've used OBS record, and I wasn't really happy with the quality of, of, of that capture. Even though I was like, it's not that bad, but I know I can do better. And so I went and got the Elgato HD60, and I like it a lot. I've not had any problems with it. I've done a couple more recordings with it. The only thing that's kind of like, uh, is that I can't do... Um, any consoles that use RCA but that's not gonna be a problem because I also got a RCA to HDMI converter so I'll be able to do that so PlayStation 1, 2, uh, I think 3 also I think 3 supports the RCA so I have to worry about the HDMI encryption to do less plays on that but Super Nintendo and like those things I can bring those to the table and that's like one thing I really wanted to do because God, God knows I have so many other things I would like to showcase. Um, but yeah, and continue on with uh, video editing. Uh, another thing I just kind of kept noticing is the way the like my recorded voice. It, it goes along with the game captures and everything I've done essentially this far is literally it's all pretty 
it's all pre-muxed, so I can't really do any changes. So it has. So when I'm done with the recording, I have to make sure that it's good. And sometimes they're not good. And sometimes I have to start something over. And if I can't, then it's like, ah, oh, then I. It just becomes a mess. So one of the things I've I've learned along the way is to. You know, if I really want good results, or at least better results than what I've been able to do so far, is to record um, any of my commentary separate from the actual game capture, and then mix them in afterwards. And uh, that's something that I'm going to be trying to do, and something that I would want to do moving forward, especially with consoles. And games that I can't really adjust the audio too much too well. Um, in case, um, in the case of Guy Guy's Melody Two, another epilogue. Um, that's gonna be coming very soon, and I'm try that that is gonna be like my thing to really separate my voice from the game capture completely. Yeah, so we try and our best on that. So we'll see how that goes. We got good hopes for that. Um, now if, and then, yeah. So another thing, you know, I'm still here. My setup hasn't moved to a new spot yet, but that spot is ready for me to get into now because I got the door. I finished the filter thing, and once it's actually warm, because February likes to be cold. I'll be moving all my stuff down there and yeah so like in a second future me put that picture of the filter thing that I put together because it's vastly different from uh, what I showed in the video when I went to do 3d prototyping good you did it okay <laughs> uh, so where you can see the just the trough down. I expand that down 80 millimeters, so that because I keep my water level lower than the top level of the tank, it because I don't want you know all that. I don't want to do covers. I don't want to do any of that, and because of the bubbles, you know, water's gonna you know slowly spit out things, and I don't want fish water on any of the paint on the painting behind the tank or on the wall and make a mess. I don't want any of that. That's why I keep it lower. So that's why I did that. But the design is actually different because it was too ambitious. It was way too ambitious. So I just need to really simp it down. It was way too complicated. But that's part of the prototyping process. You try a thing, you think it out and then you re go back and try again. You just, you know, find out what works. And then I had to add some other things because I was pumping too much water than what could come out. So I had to expand a little piece on the left and then a little trough down the front where the little tube is. So yeah, so th there was that. So I'm hoping to get that, you know, get all my stuff down there for the next, you know, couple, what, weeks until we're in spring? At least until winter is actually kind of over. Whatever that is. So, yeah. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Because, you know, I, got, I like doing these vlogs, but I, like, I want to, you know, I like to do, th sh talk about things that I've either learned or things that are kind of coming up or whatnot and things of that nature. Hmm. Oh, um, um, this week, as of when this video is public, coming out, um, I'm doing the Star Wars campaign that we couldn't do last week because um, we had the cancellation for the snow, uh, which is good because you care about, you know, I care about my friend's safety, and that's the most important. So I did a Subnautica um, stream, and that was pretty cool. I like Subnautica, and I think it'll be fun to do videos on that, but it's like, oh, if I could live stream games more regularly, like on my own, 
then that would be cool, but every Saturday I join Health Pack Streaming on their thing, so I don't know where that's going to come into play, but it's something I would like to. So, um, whenever that comes in, I'll make another announcement, like, hey, more live streams, because that was cool. I just got to get good at looking at the uh, comments, because I got a few, and I missed some, and it's like, oh no, I forgot that. I didn't even say hi to these people, like, I got my second screen here, literally just look at the comments, when I look at the game here, and it's like, oh. So, you know, mi missing that opportunity to interact with, with people, you know, that really stunk. But I did, get to, I, did, I did get to interact with one of you guys, and that was a lot of fun, and, um, yeah, that was great help, and I appreciate it. it. It's just good. Everything here is just a learning experience for me, and just uh, another piece so I can get better at, you know, finding who I am as a personality here, myself, bringing you guys some better content, just, you know, having some fun. That's really what all I want to do here is having fun. I do have a planned... Um, RPG Maker tutorial coming up uh, which I'm pretty happy about because it's, I'm gonna be emulating one of my favorite mapping mechanics which you will which you will see hopefully in the next week or two yeah, but until then we'll just have to wait so thank you everybody for joining me I think this has gone on long enough so I will see you in the next video bye bye